Good morning. Now we're going to show you guys a cow with a massive fracture. This is how she walked, leaving the chute. As you can see, she was struggling massively. Let's get into this trim. Let's go. So we're just gonna start by getting this hoof washed off so we know exactly what we're looking at before we start because this cow was incredibly tender when coming in the chute and I need to make sure we are not missing anything when we trim this cow. Now, normally when we start trimming, I am 100% expecting to see an issue on this inside medial claw. Now on the front foot, this inside claw, nine times out of 10 is where the issue is. But you will not believe what we find on the outside hoof. Let's get into this trim. And as you can see, there is a huge amount of pus and claret coming out of this hoof. And that is just the beginning of what we see. But I'm going to get this hoof warmed up. I'm going to get a shoe on and I'm going to hopefully leave this gal feeling a little bit more comfortable than she was when she came in. There we go. I wonder if she was struggling. Do you know what is trippy? Look at that camera. How weird does that shoe look? Because they haven't quite done the lines right. That has tripped me out. Right, that is going to be beastly. We're going to use a grinder just to gradually thin the thickness of the horn because this hoof horn is incredibly hard and by thinning it with the grinder it makes this trimming process just a little bit easier and hopefully will limit the amount of discomfort this cow is in while we're doing this. Now there is going to be a little bit of claret coming out. Now that is all just infection running out of this hoof. As you'll see as we get further into this video, the claret does stop. You will just work out as we go, if you keep watching, that all of this infection that's bubbling out is all just built up pressure within this hoof. And that is why she is struggling so much to bear any pressure on this hoof. Now we are just going to gradually thin all these margins and trim all this loose excess horn. At the minute, I have absolutely no idea where this issue is going to go. I don't know how big this is. I'm pretty sure this is an injury caused by an impact, just judging from where that hole is. I think maybe she'd stepped on a stone, something like that, but sort of hard to tell. But you can sort of see along this white line as I'm trimming with my knife that it is going a little bit purple. Maybe there was an impact there. I'm not 100% sure. I do not know how this issue started. I don't know what caused it, but I do know. We have to fix it. So as you'll sort of be able to work out now, there is nothing running out of this hoof and it only starts running as I put pressure on and just remove more loose horn. So this infection is still all built up in this hoof and we are just releasing all of that pressure.
So as you'll see, this hoof is getting very thin. Now this is what I'm hoping is a detached layer of horn, but we are not 100% sure what we are looking at, but I am very confident this is all attached. So as we press it, we see it makes a little bit of a bubble, so I know that can be removed. But as you can see, there is so much infection still to come out of this hoof, and I am blown away by how much was running out the whole way through this trim. I found it absolutely fascinating. As you guys can see, we're not making our bleed. We are not causing this claret. This is just all infection. So as we go through this trim, we are just spraying. We are tapping it off just with the towel, just trying to work out exactly where I'm looking at, trying to work out if there's any more loose bits of horn. But as you can see, when we're spraying, this is just all running out of this hoof. And it really is not very comfortable for this cow, but we have to make her better. So I'm just wiping, I'm spraying. I want to know that A, she's being kept clean with chlorhexidine, so it's constantly being disinfected. But B, I need to know that I'm getting every last little bit of loose horn because this girl is only gonna get one chance for me to trim her properly and I want to know that in two weeks time when we recheck her she is going to be hopefully on the mend. Can I get this little bit here without touching? So we're getting to the last little bit now. We're just dropping a little bit of the heel, making sure there is nothing going out towards this white line. And now we're just trying to remove the last tiny bits of the detach horn before we bandage this cow up with some salicylic acid and send her on her way. So we'll send her out. Let's see how she walks. anti-inflammatory oh, oh, oh dear of her be intrigued to see her walk in like 10 minutes Right, let's get out of this office. 
Let's have a look, see if I can find this cow. Oh. Trying to get boots on one-handed. <laughs> oh, no hands even. It's not easy. Right. I actually wonder if I can spot her from up here. I'm looking for a white cow with a bandage on. Just gonna walk up nice and quietly. See if I can see her. Now, with how lame she was, I can't imagine she's gonna have walked very far. Where are you, darling? I bet she's just one here. Whoa, walk straight past her. <laughs> I told you I don't think she'll walk very far. Let's get her up, let's see how she moves. How do we get down? Stand up, please. Stand up, please, please. Come on, darling. Now, I'm hoping she's now got used to that shoe being on her foot. Basically, I want this cow to be walking around as much as possible. Right, she is standing on it. I won't walk her too far. So, she really wasn't walking very well when she came out of that shoe. She is walking better now. I'm intrigued to see this girl's journey. This is gonna be a hoof we're definitely gonna to have to follow. So, if you guys wanna follow this journey, you're gonna to have to smash that subscribe button. We'll be seeing this cow again in two weeks time. Let me know what you think. Do you think she's gonna recover? And I'll catch you guys in two weeks time. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Cheers guys.